Hello everybody. I'm back with an yet another extremely interesting experiment known as the ammonium fountain experiment. Through this experiment, the solubility nature of ammonia can be well understood. Let me explain you the materials required for this experiment. So, to generate the ammonia gas, I need a boiling tube with boiling chips and an inverted round bottom flask to collect the ammonia gas. Once the ammonia gas is trapped inside this flask, we move on to the second part of the experiment. That is for that we need a syringe and a tube which acts like a jet for the fountain and then a rubber cork. This is ammonia and we need a pipette to transfer the ammonia and this is a beaker with water and we need a math stick. So to begin, so initially I will transfer some amount of ammonia into this boiling tube and gently heat it till I get a sufficient amount of ammonia into this round bottom flask. So let me transfer the ammonia into the boiling tube. So let me gently heat this ammonia. Once you have sufficiently heated your ammonia, you can always test for its presence with the help of a litmus paper. So when you bring it near, if it turns into blue, it shows that sufficient amount of ammonia is present in the flask. Once it is done, we close it with a cork. So after testing, when we have concluded that sufficient amount of ammonia is present in the flask, we close the flask with a rubber cork and then keep this aside. So we take the beaker containing water, place it under this and then we take our cork which has this syringe connected and the other tube which acts like a jet. So we change the cork to this particular cork. And place this tube inside the water. Now, once our setup is ready, I slowly push the water which is present inside the syringe into this flask. It so happens that once I push this water, whatever ammonia gas that is present inside this flask, it will dissolve in the water which I injected into the flask and then due to that, the pressure inside the flask will decrease when compared to the atmospheric pressure which in turn leads to the suction of water into this flask. So I will show it to you now. So I am going to slowly push the water inside. So now you can see the water slowly rises through this tube and it is going to come into the flask. As more and more ammonia gets dissolved into the flask, the pressure difference is created which in turn leads to the rising of water from the beaker into the flask. 
Yes, so now the water is inside the flask, which is present inside the jet-like tube. Yes, it's almost at the tip. Yes, it is reached to the top. And you can see a beautiful fountain that's coming up. And the water has changed from colorless to pink in color. Do you all know the reason behind it? It looks amazing, right? Yes. So you all can see this part where the water is flowing down. Yes. Through this, what do we understand? It is because the ammonia that was present inside the flask is getting dissolved in the water that was present initially, which leads to a pressure difference and the water from the beaker is pulled up. I hope all of you all would have enjoyed this experiment. Before concluding, I have two questions to you all. Why did I keep this RB inverted to collect the ammonia gas? The second question. What component did I add into this beaker which made the water turn into pink when it reached this flask? If you all know the answer, let me know in the comment section. We are making these videos so that science learning can be fun and enjoyable. If you like our videos, please subscribe and don't forget to press on the bell icon so that you can keep getting the updates about our latest videos and experiments.